Good morning, YouTubers. It's been raining here on the Space Coast pretty much every single day. It's still pretty cloudy out there, the threat of rain. Not supposed to be a good fishing day, but it is supposed to be a good boating day. That's something we haven't had for a long time. So what I'm going to do is I'm getting a really late start. It's 10 o'clock. I'm just deciding now to start going. There's so much that goes into getting the boat ready that most people don't see. Part of YouTube magic. You know, you just see me just magically appear at the boat ramp. But it does take about an hour from the time I start grabbing everything, loading it up at the house, getting things ready, coming to the boat, uncovering the boat, putting everything in the boat, getting gas in it, and then trailering it to wherever I'm going to dump it in. might be the most unenjoyable part of the day. The nearest part near the wreck. Man, this fish looks like a remora. Huh. <laughs> they're just freelancing some live shrimp. Now remora are funny because they have that section cup thing on their head. first threw the shrimp out there, I thought it might be a cobia. You see that suction thing? The way I'm hooking these shrimp is just taking the hook and putting it through the back of their tail so they can still swim around. What do we got? Oh, it's a lizard fish. You know, I haven't caught a lizard fish on this side yet. Real, 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 real. Just real steady as you can. Just keep reeling as much as you can. You might want to stand up. There you go, you got it. Damn it. <laughs> Reel it, reel it, reel it. Oh, there you go, you got a red snapper. The bait? No, you cannot use it. These are Same. illegal. Swing it over here. Maybe, uh, oop, I got one. Double hook up here. We got a double hook up here. No wonder he was giving me such a fight, Jacqueline. Yeah. <laughs> Jack battling Jack. Oh, he's a big one. This might be. Do you have your GoPro on? I do. Okay. Back, back up. He's a beast of a fish. It's gonna be a red snapper. Good job. Yeah, bring it over. Good job. Really fast. Fast as you can. So it can't get eaten by Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown. The grouper. Mr. Gray is the shark. Feel big? <laughs> All right. Oh, that was a lot better at first. 
a lot better at first. When I first hit, a lot better. We were tossing pieces of live shrimp, just top water, no weight, into the school. We assume that it was Benita that bit it, but man, this thing, it's got some weight to it. I mean, this is on a 6,500 reel, 30 pound braid, 40 pound liter. The uh, 20 pound braid, 30 pound liter on my Walmart rod didn't seem to be enough to do the trick. But yeah, this thing's got plenty of fight in it. Definitely winning the battle here. Oh, it's big. It is big. Whoa. That's really big. Whoa. <laughs> I think this might be a jack. Ooh, do me a favor. Actually, just tape them up to the surface. But yeah, the net is in the middle console. And the Walmart rod doesn't disappoint. I'll tell you, I catch so many fish. In this rod. Ooh. It does kind of have a tuna looking meat. It's definitely not a white meat fish. Now I've caught plenty of blue runners before, but every time I've caught a blue runner, it's always been in the Gulf of Mexico. I don't think I've ever caught one at least this size. I mean, this was 17 inches at the fork. So, I mean, overall it was, you know, probably a 20, 22 inch fish. And uh, I've never kept one to eat one. And they have a, they're, first of all, they're very easy to fillet. They, they might be one of the easiest filleting fish I've, I've ever done. Um, they're easy to skin. They have a very big bloodline. And because of that bloodline, I had to cut it all out. There's not a whole lot of fillets left, but um, they're supposed to be the ultimate trash fish. So we're gonna decide whether this is a trash or treasure. So what we're gonna do is, they're nice and filleted. We're gonna marinate them for a little while in some soy sauce. Put them in the refrigerator, and then we'll deal with them in a little while. Okay, so we didn't put anything else on this besides um, soy sauce, so there's no pepper or whatever. Jacqueline just gave me a thumbs up. Is it a big thumbs up or half thumbs up or a little thumbs up? What is it? Big, she should give a full thumbs up. Just like tuna. It might just be the soy sauce, but. I mean, I put a lot of soy sauce on there. So I do have a lot of soy sauce taste. But I'll be honest with you that the meat actually turned pretty white. I'm not getting the fishiness. I don't even know what I'd compare it to. Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe chicken, yeah. Everything tastes like chicken.